Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, The Spice Must Flow, with myself, Master Boost, and Zatelier. Hello. And just because this is a new episode and a new uh, recording day, I am absolutely clueless on what to do. <laughs> no matter. First I think I'm going to piece up Portugal now. I'm not going to take the island that they have near me, but at least I can take all the holdings in Australia. I am gonna break down a few castles, that's what I'm gonna do at least. I'm gonna keep the one in my capital and in my secondary. Um, yeah, okay. The rest is for future. Start on speed 2. Yeah. And let me know when you go can go up. Oh yeah, also gonna take down my forts for a bit. I don't need it right now. Okay, let's build a few more heavy ships. Spice of War, knowledge sharing, and... Wow. I think I may have to do something here. Filters... Game. Done. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I hope my audio is now better than it used to be because I think my PC has again reset the settings for my microphone. Oh, which lovely. Is, which is frustrating as all hell, but I don't feel like fixing it now. Um, no, I need to wait. Okay, guitar is something that I could make it to a stage. Snitch a pipe where it. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Freezing come quite nicely. I like with Malwa. Right. Now, do I have a transport fleet at all? Okay, knowledge sharing is ended. Okay, so I got two traders that I'm not doing anything right now, so let's uh Transfer trade power over there, and transfer trade power over here, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I should probably increase the ability. I'm gonna hold off for that. Okay, I'm making a lot of ducats. I'm gonna switch out a few admin. Uh, also, I need more admin, so pushing on that. You. I'll take the trade efficiency, and I will promote this advisor. Lose the stability, lose one inflation. Uh, I'm at hmm. zero inflation. There's no need for reforms, and I'm getting three inflation. But I am going down on inflation, so there's no need for reforms. Oh wow, not... I'm making uh, 96 tickets per month from trading. Nice. Oh, from trading alone. Yeah. Uh, 72. I mean, my current uh, income per monthly or profit per monthly is 45. Yeah, 51 right? for now. Um. I can actually build something like that, so let's build a set of transports. Um, 20? Okay. Save. Okay, I can build it, but I can't build it yet because I don't have quite the money. Oh, ah. uh, okay. Lose 5 army professionalism or lose 900 ducats. I can't build a transport fleet. How can I pay 900 ducats? Really? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. We <laughs> <laughs> um, split and then the other one. Actually, might as well drill with that army for the time being. Yep. I also need some new leaders, I think. Kazoo and Marjik are here. Oh yeah, I don't want to train with Martek, that's why. I have, I can have four leaders. Hmm, okay. Rommel? Uh, that's quite a few, actually. Oh, that's a good one. 
but I will train with you. And you can also have a leader. Right, so my rivals right now are Great Britain, Ava, and Spain. I am gonna call my king in as a leader. Do I have the claims yet? No. Let's get a fine network going there then. My king is pants. My queen is okay. And my heir is an absolute dunce. Well then. So I'm hoping for a hunting accident or something like that. I could kick him out, but it's 50 prestige I kinda use. Uh, military boost him as well. Yes. Okay. How much do I need for those ships again? I can actually build it now. Perfect. Well, that's nice. Speaking of ships, I can actually build a lot more light ships. Maybe some pirate tiering in Beijing. Mm -hmm. uh, I know who's the next one I'm going to go to war with. Well? Malwa. I, I already have a Reconquest CB on them. Fair enough. For... Not myself, but Idar, the, my vassal, so that's great. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, you guys combine, you guys combine. Is it still necessary? How am I on rebels? Karjatkari, Balochistani. Actually, it's not too bad right now. Hmm. Right, so how is my vessel doing here? And secondly, I should probably increase the size of this army. Can you hold that? No. Can you hold that? No. Oh, you can stay here. That's good. I could also stay there. That's even better. Hmm. So I wonder if uh, I make Gold Coast declare war on Ming Columbia, I won't be able to help them directly, correct? No. Unless Ming steps in and then you can step in as well. Or you step in and then Ming steps in as well. Ah. It's a... Uh... Oh, administrative efficiency. I think I'll take that. Well, if there's a chance that Ming steps in, then that can be a bit dangerous for me. Small that chance. Works. Usually, colonial nations just duke it out on their own. And if you if you are uh, boosting your colonial nation with like money and uh, points in their uh, development, that tends uh. to help. Like. And build buildings like uh, barracks, so they have a larger army. Um, yeah, I could build a barracks for their capital. I think that's their capital. Yep, it is. I wanted to do something. Okay, culture shift. Nice. Right, so Min Colombia. How much do they have? They got 5,000 men, so they do have more than what Gold Coast has right now. That's not bad. I mean, it is bad. For oh, me. yeah, for you it is. But on the other hand, uh, Gold Coast is currently building up their army out of scratch. I met with Jampur and Mewar, and you're guaranteed by Jampur. That's an interesting attack at some point, but not now. Malwa, do we have a... S no, we don't. Good. Alright, oh, I got another look. Uh, I should try to pay that off. A request to share my maps of Persia from the Knights. Okay. I mean, it gives me 10 prestige, so sure. If you want to attack Persia, be my guest. <laughs> I have no interest there. Directly. 
I mean, uh, they won't be able to reach there any time soon, I don't think. No. No. Okay, you're here. Train a little bit more. Don't want you to train ever. Jampur, are you attacking them? Kujrat, Oman and Jampur, yes you are attacking them. Right, so Ming has 300,000 men. Oof, that's about a few. One third of them is mercenaries though, but... Mm. That's still quite a few. Okay, let's gather up the navies here. My maximum army size currently is 142. Minus uh, a little bit north, 80. I think, or was it 90? It's 90 now, okay. Oh yeah, universities is a thing. Huh, so should I go for Republic? Yeah, let's do that. Just avoid the Trade Republic, because we don't know what that does. It might break you up a bit too much. <laughs> That's true. Um, go for military candidate right now. Oh. That's... Oh, so I need to do all the reforms again. Uh huh. Yeah, you got now uh, the new reforms for uh, the Republic. Some. Re uh, I thought some state, but maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna go for. I think oligarchy. That's not a bad idea. diamonds. Oh my. Ooh. Really Republican tradition or random candidate bonus. That's a tough one. I'm actually gonna go for the bonus. I know that some people on the comments might disagree with me. Hmm. <laughs> You guys stop training, drilling. I need my heavies. You're all the way over there. Double trade power, yes please. <laughs> Always. Okay, so now, oh god, there's a lot of uh, reforms that the republics have. Yeah, I did four, and now uh, I still got tiers five through ten to do. Okay, well, get the war galleon researched. Uh, let's upgrade these ships first before we send them out. Tarkant is the one I will take that one soon. So yes. Okay. Now I realize I forgot to put the timer on, but... I That's alright. We are around 15 minutes, right? Uh, Yeah, thereabouts. Okay, guys, move up. Get ready. You are there, you are there. Perfect. Okay, let's... Ooh, livestock, okay. Repay the loan. Touch the fleet. Looking a fair bit of corruption. You guys combine oh, okay, combine when you're in the in, in the coast of the Maldives, please. There we go. So uh Maldives, nothing personal. But I will declare war on you. Malwa will come in on this. I'll take it. Confirm. Transport. Attack. Now for you. Stability or prestige? I think I'm gonna go with the stability. Stability is probably the cheaper one because uh, prestige you can earn. Presti yeah. uh, stability, that's events and other kinds of shit. So Malwa, how do you feel about this? Not too happy because you're in two wars at the same time. Well then. Mm, too bad for you. Sucks to be you. Oh, main declared war on Korea. 
I mean, it's to be a tributary. Oh, yeah, they'll do that. That Russia is also against me now. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Interesting. I mean, Russia is pretty strong. They are fighting two wars now, though. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, okay. Well, that's the Battle of the Maldives one. Good. Rommel is now a hardy warrior. And... I seem to have misplaced the army of Malwa. Or they have seemed to misplace their own army. Because I have no clue where they are. <laughs> I don't see them anywhere. Fair enough. Okay, Marshal Pahit, are you still pissy? Yes, you are. I mean, they're... <laughs> you shrunk them down and made them uh, feel uh, inadequate. Well, I also forced them to convert into Sunni. That'll do it. Right, let's see if... Oh, hey, 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 hey! There's a 1k stack here. Oh. Okay, so now, actually, let me check if we even have the reach to privateer in Beijing. No, we do not. Okay. Okay. Please, please dock. Attached to the ships, send the ships home. Well, let's privateer in Hangzhou. That should increase our income quite nicely. Eight death. How much of a rebel? Oh, that's well, there's gems on the Maldives. I don't mind that at all. Oh. Oh, yeah, they do start with gems. Okay, the increase was not huge. Or maybe it hasn't calculated it in yet. I don't know. Hmm. No, I think I'll pop a couple of mercenaries on the Maldives just to keep it under control. Okay, now it's cal- Ooh, I'm making two ducats per month from privateering in- Nice. Okay, I'm military tech 18, I'm still behind, so that's slightly worrisome. That means I need to push it hard. Yeah. I mean, the next military tech does give the better infantry, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, did we get another colony done? Do I no, want to culture almost. shift now? Uh, I mean, do I want to switch the infantry now? North Indian musket infantry. And I mean, ladder, I'll, I'll switch to, to ladder cannons now first. But I've not seen any... Oh, you're going to try and DC that. Oh, my air is a navigator. I can't, oh. re I can't remember putting you on a ship. <laughs> Hindu zealots, do I want to let them go? I mean, I'm already Hindu. Or are they not? No, Malwa is Sunni. Oh. Should have declared a religious war. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Actually, I lost the admiral. Can I current admiralship? I can. Which means that our Grand Navy here... Ooh, 2530. As an Admiral. Oh, that's a big coalition if I to do this. Delhi, Jampur, Malwa. All well over 100 points. Ooh. Kandesh, Chattagai and Baluchistan are... Well, no. Chattagai and Baluchistan would step out reasonably soon. But Kandesh would also stay in for a while. Okay, so maybe not that much then. 
mean, I don't mind another coalition where I can pummel uh, Delhi, <laughs> but it will slow me down just a bit. Uh, it's still quite a coalition. Why did you go in there? You don't need to fight the Hindu rebels, really. Oh, you're winning this? Okay, fine. Ooh, I could get a new idea. I'd be the first one to do this. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a naval idea, screw up. Yeah, I'm gonna save it the points for the tech. Right, let's see. You have claims somewhere. Not there, not there, not there. Aha. Flip that to Idar. So I'll just take these two, maybe? Let's okay, see. I don't think I need this armor here anymore, so I can ferry them to the mainland as well. So just these two provinces. That will piss them off. Royally. <laughs> that will give me another coalition. It is... Oh, wait. Maybe I should not take these two then for now. Yes, a coalition will still form. I'm not too fussed about it, but I will take all your money. And you had a bit. There is one province for my vassal and one for me, just so we can connect. Ah. And a big batch of money. I'll take it. <laughs> so, that is Malwa out of this war. Okay, I think I need to keep increasing my navy. Perhaps more privateers. I mean, what's wrong with more privateers? Well, I mean, other than the Ming will hate me. And probably declare war on me at some point. And doesn't Ming already hate you? Yeah, they do. <laughs> so? I mean, they're currently neutral at me. They're not hostile. Ah, okay. I could, of course, uh, just protect some trade somewhere. Jampu Malwa, I mean... It's the same bunch of guys who were there already, so I'll just uh, take the land. Thank you. Oh, admin tech. 18, unfortunately, so I'm still behind. I think I'm going to take the defensive ideas. I'll make the Maldives my core. It's quite a fair bit of unrest. Baluchistan is going after Mewar. Let's see, Maldivian, it's 10k that would arise. I'm gonna delete you guys because you're way too expensive for this joke. Um. Right, Rommel, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be on bitch duty in the Maldives. Fair enough. That should turn over the unrest on both of these. Yeah. You know, I think Malwa got punched so hard that they actually didn't have an army when I, when I attacked the Maldives. <laughs> it's really the only reason I can think of right now why it's why it was such a walkover. I mean it's possible. Holy crap, I'm earning so much in Malacca. Almost a hundred per month. God, that's a lot of... Right, switching over to... Oh, um... No, I'll go of offensive again, North Indian Musket Infantry. Because I'll be moving into North India anyway. Makes sense. So, you said... We were 50 minutes in a while ago, right? Then I think uh, yeah, we so may well we... be there now. 
which in case means thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment also check out the other players perspectives and uh, all the links are down below including the link to our patreon if you want to give us more than just your view we'll be back tomorrow with more eu4 the spice must flow bye bye bye